The Danish kickboxer with Ray Seppo in his corner. Martin, the hitman Campman, tonight competing in the octagon for the 16th time in his career. 11 first round finishes, 20 wins in all. And he was getting beat up by Tiago Alves, then was able to pull off a submission with 38 seconds remaining. And Jake Ellenberger rocked him early only for Campman to come back in the second round and her knockout of the night. That was a sensational comeback in that fight. And it, what it showed in both of those fighters that Martin Campman is in it to win it to the very last second of the round. He's not giving up mentally. He's always trying to find a way to pull victory out. And that is against strikers, that is against grapplers, that's against anybody. Martin Campman truly believes that he is the best fighter in the world. He knows he's had some ups and downs in his career, but he each one of those has made him stronger. And the version of Martin Campman that we see before us today has overcome adversity time and time again and has grown substantially in his confidence because of those accomplishments. Because of that, because he's done that, his confidence is just booming. And his technique is excellent. His chokes are outstanding. And he's just a, a top of the line mixed martial arts fighter. Martin Campman steps into the United States Marine Corps prep point. Go to UFC.com slash Marines to see what happens when elite UFC fighters meet elite war fighters. Campman says, I come aggressive all the time, which does put me at risk. And he puts it in a way in which he said, I'm in harm's way. And yeah, I've gotten caught a few times. But the man has never been submitted. He's known for his striking, but has seven victories by submission. A nasty guillotine, and he likes fighting southpaws, and Johnny Hendricks is southpaw, obviously. Now, if there is something to look for in this fight, with the scar tissue because of all that, that aggressive attack, if you will, Joe, and taking punishment, Martin even said, I, I'm scarred up a bit. I cut easily. So we'll keep an eye on that throughout the fight. They both have very different approaches to their striking, of course. Campman is not the type of guy who puts everything behind every shot. He picks his shots, and he throws everything with proper technique, always covering, whereas Hendricks just throws bombs. So it's uh, it's really interesting to see who lands first, who lands off it. And they have trained together with a lot of frequency, Campman and Hendricks. Our tale of the tape for this, our co-main event of the evening, is brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go. Born in Denmark, Campman is 30 years old. Born in out of Oklahoma, 29-year-old Johnny Hendricks. Taller as Campman, he will have the three-inch reach advantage. 